John, what are we what are we taking for a ride today? Well, today we have a 2017 RAV4 Hybrid all-wheel drive. Very nice. Should we hop inside? Absolutely. Let's get in. I like this little shelf over here. Yeah, tons of storage. Uh, we got upper shelves up here. We got a lower shelf down here. Uh, this is the XLE model of RAV4. So standard features on this include the power moonroof up top. We've got the dual climate control inside. Uh, we have a turn signal mirrors, uh, power heated outside mirrors, uh, alloy wheels on the outside. And that's got the little uh, the little extra mirror to give you some visibility for a blind spot. It does, there. it has a blind spot mirror integrated right into the mirror. I like that. Push button start. And this is a hybrid system, so it's got 194 net horsepower system, gas and electric motor combined. Hey. Here we go. Pretty quiet. Yeah, this is a blast to drive. Like it's no, you can't. You can't <laughs> with, with a hybrid. You will only hear the gas motor kick on just like that when it needs to heat the temperatures up, the coolant temperatures up in the vehicle. After that, the gas motor is only on for heavy acceleration. Otherwise, it will be silent. Okay. All right, we are in selfie mode now. We've got our official selfie stick going on here. <laughs> I will hold hand over control to the selfie stick. All right, so what you're going to notice with the hybrid is it's very smooth power that you get electric torque that really gets you moving and that saves on gas. That's why this is about 30% more efficient than a gas model vehicle. So we've driven a couple electric vehicles now. Mm -hmm. I'd be very interested to see how this, because um, this has the intelligent all wheel drive, which is all, all electric in the rear. It, or? It's every wheel. Every wheel has its own electric all wheel drive motor. So the all-wheel drive with intelligence, you hit it right on the head. Um, each wheel acts independently, but there's an electronic coupler that makes the wheels work in unison. And the intelligence factor comes in when you don't need all-wheel drive, the car will put you in a front-wheel drive mode. If you're just driving along straight like today, there's no wet conditions on the roads. If we're in a straight line, no steering wheel movement, the car will default to front-wheel drive. But as soon as you turn the wheel at all, all-wheel drive kicks in. Woo. It's got some power, doesn't it? Yeah. That's a hybrid. So the, the, the zero to 60 second time on the hybrid is actually two seconds faster than the gas model. Wow. Think Which about is that. sort of funny because you always think of the, hy the hybrid is sort of the fuel efficient, the slow. So the hybrid gives you 194 net horsepower and the gas model is 176. So the hybrid actually is much more not only efficient, but powerful than the gas motor, which is a lot less. Ah, the lane departure alert. <laughs> now I just sort of drifted to the side and it corrected, corrected my steering yes. for me. So every RAV4 hybrid included for 2017 comes with Toyota Safety Sense. So it has the, what we just experienced was the lane departure alert and it has steering assist. So you probably felt in the wheel. Yep. It gave you a little nudge backwards. Yep. Once you get over the line, you hear the audio audible tone letting you know that we're over the line. So it'll give you a little bit of a steering correction. Uh, also comes standard with um, pre-collision system with pedestrian detection. So we're coming up on a crosswalk here. Should there be a pedestrian start walking out in front of us, in your multi-information display, it will flash brake and it will automatically brake the car for you. It does the math saying, we're going too fast to this object in front of us, so it will brake the car for you. It's good to have a good crash test score, but obviously the idea behind Toyota Safety Sense is crash avoidance. It's better if you don't crash your vehicle, but if you do, you have a great score, a five-star overall rating for RAV, but these Safety Sense features are designed to keep you on the road and safe on the road. It's designed to avoid any impact with another vehicle. I like that. All right, so getting on 490 here. Once we get around this corner, yeah, there you go. Yep. You can feel that acceleration. Yes. It's a lot of power. That electric motor provides a lot of torque. What helps us get up to that acceleration fast. I mean, this is a hybrid. <laughs> this is a hybrid, but it drives just like a gas powered vehicle, if not smoother. So 
once we get through this acceleration period, what you notice with the hybrid is it's quiet. It's extremely quiet. The cabin is very, very quiet. Now, now I just noticed that uh, right next to the speedometer here, we've got power, eco, and charge. You know, as I get to cruising speed, it goes to charge. So, it's, mm -hmm. so you have the hybrid has the the hybrid synergy system for Toyota has a couple different driving modes and they're right down here under the dash. So you have the, the eco mode, which is, uh, it's, a, it's an efficiency thing. So it will, when you have eco mode is on, so if we were to turn it on, the little blue indicator up on the yeah. dash right there. And what that does, it cuts the throttle sensitivity down. So it makes it a little bit harder to accelerate. You have to really push down a little bit to get it going, but in return, it uses more torque, more electric motor, and more efficient. It's better gas mileage. In sport mode would be the opposite. Light goes red. That increases the gearing in the car so that you get a little bit more RPM mm -hmm. uh, and it's a little bit more sporty feel. It will automatically engage at least 10% of the all-wheel drive feel so it's a little bit of a stiffer ride. And then EV mode is battery only. So even though this isn't a, a plug-in version and there's no way to charge the RAV hybrid, right. uh, it will still allow you to run on just battery um, for short periods of time, uh, for example, on the other side of the highway, they are bumper to bumper right now. So we could engage the, the EV mode and run on battery um, for probably a mile or two and not use any gas at all. Okay. There's an energy okay, monitor there system that will show you where the power is going in the vehicle. Yeah. So right now we're accelerating so that battery pack, which is our electric motor, and the gas motor are both putting power to the wheels. But as we come to a point where we start to break or slow down, you'll see the arrows flip so that the energy goes into the battery system and that the car is running just on the battery pack. All right, so this is interesting. I see somebody on the screen that says sway warning with a coffee cup next to it. <laughs> so it will tell you that the car basically tracks the driver. So if you're driving long stretches of time, uh -huh. um, it will tell you like what a good time to rest would be. If you're driving for a couple hours at a stretch, it will let you know that, hey, it might be time to take a break, switch drivers, stretch right. your legs, grab a cup of coffee. And the sway warning is uh, sometimes on prolonged trips, you know, you have a tendency to kind of right. drift the wheel a little bit. Uh -huh. And the sway warning will tell you if you do that so many times in a period, it will lower that time for you to rest. It's saying somebody else should probably be behind the wheel. So how's the drive? This is nice. It's very smooth power from a, a vehicle size, which is, you know, comparable to a Corolla in terms of interior space. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's this is the only one on the market with this sort of technology, features, and all-wheel drive. And outside of the fact you're getting into the mid-30s for miles per gallon. We can fit a lot of advertising equipment in that back there. <laughs> Yeah, it's sort of amazing how, how big the RAV4 is. Yeah, you don't really notice. Uh, it doesn't seem like an overly big vehicle from the outside, but when you're on the inside, the Toyota engineers have used every inch possible to for maximum cargo space. And it's, it's, the RAV is by far, even the hybrid RAV is by far, has the most cargo space in this class. Even taking up the count for the hybrid battery back in the rear. Did you enjoy the vehicle? We did. Absolutely. Yeah, that was awesome. Well, have a great day, guys. Thanks. You as well. Thank you.